The Bombay Dynasty was Corby's very first Indian restaurant. It opened in 1987. The curry boot camp ran over five evenings. Students from five local schools took part. Good evening to school. Corby Business Academy. Professor Academy. Lunch Park. I'm Jack Jenkins from Abuse. The young people learnt front of house skills, including hospitality and how to wait on tables. A little bit of napkin magic was also thrown in, and they soon discovered why you need extra long arms when clearing the dishes. But most importantly, they were taught how to prepare and cook an authentic Indian curry using natural ingredients, under the expert guidance of the restaurant's owner and creative chef, Mohammed Rahman. Day one is watch and learn as Muhammad explains the ingredients and describes the techniques. Um, I'm going to make a biryani dish which is called the Bukhari Birani, which is a very um, tasty dish come from Indian subcontinent, which is originates from uh, Iran and those travelers and the merchandise actually took, took, taking the recipe back to India. Then it was spread um, in the southeast of Asia. Now it comes to UK. Uh, since last 70, 80 years, and which is a very popular dish. Um, of course, look, of course. Can uh, anybody see what's this? Cinnamon. <laughs> Cinnamon, yeah. Right, this is... Sorry, this is... And what's this? Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? That's ginger and garlic paste. This is salt, that's water. Can anybody say... Fantastic, it's brilliant, isn't it? He's one of mine, he's one oh, of mine. Oh, fantastic, <laughs> CBA, CBA, yes, brilliant. Crazy. Yeah, Crazy. Yeah. 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 yeah, Sultana is in the um, carrots, sliced carrots, and they're deep fried. There you go, it's better than me. Day two, and already it's time for some hands on learning. The vegetable curry, would that just be like a vegetarian option? Then no, normally, that has got the chicken. Biryani, if, 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 say for example, if you're a vegetarian, you can actually make exactly the same biryani with vegetables. Fantastic, it's going to be brilliant. Can we take this home and make stuff? What, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make your pot, big pot tonight, so everybody's got... Oh, thank God. Are we going to take it home? Yeah, you can take it home for everybody. You know. Hello, hello. We're, we're making vegetable yes. biryani. Spicy Want to take a look? Oh, I love the dish. Add this salt about 200 grams. Let's try it. <laughs> and while the young curry cooks get creative in the kitchen, the Mad Hatter's front of house learn how to make napkins in the shape of chef's hats. You're Mad Hatter. Finish. What? How on earth did you do it that fast? The students soon discover that waiting on tables isn't just about hospitality, and balancing those plates isn't as easy as it looks. Very good. Very good. Side in the cup. Very good. Big hand, please. Big hand. Um, I managed to hold two until I went out and dropped and thought I was going to drop them. So I put them down before I did drop them. The most important part of the front of house role is to look after your guests. Indian restaurants pride themselves on their hospitality and giving every guest a special experience. And that starts with making them comfortable as soon as they arrive. Do we, do we ask them how many? Pop it on to two. Yeah, how many pop it on to two? Agreedy guts. No, like four between them. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a busy week for the students. Five days of after-school boot camp and lots of new skills to remember. And now the big day has arrived. By lunchtime there will be 30 special guests to cook for and to entertain. And the stakes get higher as Chris Evans tells the nation all about Corby's unique curry boot camp on his Radio 2 breakfast show. Online, on digital and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC Radio 2. Good morning, friends. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Tuesday, May 15, 2012. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show. Already special. 
all for a day because representing Corby things are hunting up for Mohammed Rahman, the deputy mayor and Indian chef who is hosting a Bombay boot camp for year 10 hospitality students. Tonight they're feeding 30 local VIPs. Pop it all around, spicy and plain, half and half. Thank you very much indeed. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jess Harris and I'm from Lodge Park Technology College. I'd like to welcome you all to Bombay Dynasty for their 25th anniversary lunch. Um, I hope you all enjoy your meals and I must warn you that all the food, well, most of the food has been prepared by uh, the students, so have fun. We need one plate. Those of you that are interested, what you've just eaten is Bakari biryani, chicken makani, and mixed vegetable naan breads. No? No, Rachel, you're not having all you've got to share. Rachel, give me a bit. Out there. Oh no, you have to share it with everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Anything that encourages community engagement is a great idea and um, particularly teaching young people life skills like cooking. I think it's a fantastic idea and I uh, thank um, Mohammed Rahman for doing it. I thought it was very nice, very well cooked and I, I thought the young people done brilliantly. It was very tasty. I think the meal was absolutely delicious. It was served lovely, very polite manners. Um, everything was really enjoyable. There's nothing I could fault at all. <laughs> I'm keeping away from here. I think the, I think the children did really, really well, and it's a pleasure to see a child out of a classroom actually doing a hospitality job that probably they want to use as their future career. Uh, it's a great pri privilege to have you all here today to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Bombay Dynasty. I really enjoyed thoroughly when I actually created this boot camp uh, by inviting and getting the help from five schools, various senior schools, which is um, Brook Western, uh, Business Academy, um, Lodge Park, uh, Apinum. It's incredible to see some young students, they have so much confidence and so much passion to learn the skills of the Indian curry uh, uh, culinary. If you actually look at the employment figures and the employment sector in the county, this part of the county and the county in general is a growth area for travel, tourism um, and hospitality. And there are jobs uh, as the county's uh, market itself, not just in uh, the UK, but across across Europe, and that's a put strategic push from the County Council. Absolutely lovely. Um, I can't believe that sort of 11 to 15 year olds will be able to make meals it's like this, idea, which personally I wouldn't have a clue where to start. Very impressed with the food today, um, absolutely delicious, and top marks to everybody involved. When we started to cook the dishes and get all the dishes ready for serving for the guests to eat, um, but when it did actually come to serving time, I did get really busy in there when we got people asking for curries and biryanis and naan breads. And like once we got spread off into different groups, like half of us would go in the kitchen and we'd go in the kitchen with people we hadn't been with before. We'd learn to like, and you'd make friends with people in the kitchen because you'd be working on the same dish together. Yeah, it got easier to talk to people because like yeah. you, you were interacting with them, so you like learn to make friends. It's really good and it's like teaching us those skills. It's like actually like getting up front to that experience of actually being in a professional kitchen. One, two, three, three. Yeah.